We are the monarchs from Upper Six in the Roman Ridge School, um, representing Fanny Kulibali, Megan Greaves, Ross, and Nia J, and Kofi Tony. Now, when we think of wearable technology, what comes to your mind? Like, what comes first? Anybody has any Pardon? Sport. So basically, maybe a watch. But like the gadget itself, how will it be? A watch. Other things that may come to mind are glasses or bracelets. But we, the monarchs, don't want to be mediocre. We want to surprise you because we believe that people who are to 24 year olds they want something new and not average so we present you equilibria balance your life what is this equilibrium equilibria is basically um, a simple device which you can attach to your shirt the way you would attach a brooch just like you can see here yes I know you're wondering about that work, you're yet to be amazed by what we're about to present to you. This brooch can project a screen on any surface. This brooch can project a screen on any surface whatsoever. And when I say any surface, a book, your hand, and I honestly prefer my hand. It can project anything. You can paint, you can write, you can draw. And I can literally watch an entire movie with Next slide, please. Equilibrium is a pin it's pin on technology. It's convenient. It's affordable. It's simple. It's portable. And finally, it's fashionable. Fashionable. This is how it would be looking. You can put it, this is for men and this is for women. And not forget, just like any other device, you can have a case of its own. So it can go with any outfit you're wearing. Regarding our age group, we are very conscious about what we wear. Thank you, Flanny. Um, okay, so when we were tasked with coming up with ideas to, for um, a wearable device that would appeal to 16 to 24 year olds, the tech savvy um, age group, if you will, we came up with a multifunctional and um, uniquely placed device, the Equilibrium. So it has a built in, so we packed it with a built in camera, Bluetooth and Wi Fi connectivity, um, voice recognition, it's chargeable via motion, um, projectable interface, like Flanny uh, mentioned, and then it, mo it has a heartbeat sensor. All right, and it also has a built-in um, speaker and microphone. Okay, so as students, balancing and managing your priorities, like your social life and your leisurely activities with schoolwork and sleeping is really tough. So what our device is aimed at is finding a way to help you balance those aspects of your life. And as you can see in the chart, we spend more time on our leisure and obviously more time sleeping than we do in, on our working and educational activities, which is what our device is aimed at balancing out. Okay. The yin yang of your life. <laughs> Hello, lovely Hello, lovely ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I'll be taking you through the educational features. First, first of all, are we working hard or hardly working? As a student, there's a very thin line between these two. But we, know, but we all know school can be stressful with sleepless nights, preparing for that test tomorrow, and more importantly, and more importantly, more importantly your parents expecting you to get exceptional grades at the, end of, at the end of the year. The first educational aspect of the equilibria is our change actual, change actual written text to PDF. So as you're reading your notes, the device scans while you're reading and converts it to PDF, making it accessible to you whenever and wherever you need it 
without having to carry heavy textbooks, especially for my mates and I who have our A-levels next year. The next feature is our speech to text. So let's say you are late on your university deadlines and you need to draft your essay. In, in, in a matter of minutes, you just, all you have to do is recite and the device takes the voice input and, and converts to PDF. Recording videos is simplified. For most of us who will be going to university in, let's say, a year's time, you go to university, you're faced with a lecturer who's teaching our paces you've never been exposed to in your life. Since the device is voice automated, all you say is record, and the, and, the, and the device records the entire session, allowing you to go back during your free time and refer to every single detail. The last feature is the daily planner. The Equilibria presents you with the most interactive daily planner known to man. So with every event input goes a given time. So a certain amount of time before the event occurs, the Equilibria projects your schedule, showing you what you have, along with vibrations that are impossible to ignore. And let's not forget to send a notification to your device. Thank you. Enough with education. We want a device, um, enough with education. We spend way too much time in school to go back home and be abandoned with a device that helps you to only study. We want education and entertainment, and we need a device that would respond to our entertainment needs. And that's where Equilibra comes in. It works with Bluetooth stud earphones, which means you can listen to music without necessarily having to untangle your earphones, which always seem to tangle up at the end of the day, which is very annoying anyway. For those of us who love to play games, the device also has a great gaming experience, which means you don't, hold, you don't have to hold that heavy tab of yours or your phone in order to play your games anymore, like Clash of Clans and Temple Run. It's all on your palm. Since it projects to any device like your palm, you can now play the game on your palm without having to hold anything heavy. Again, for those of you like me who love to read, you can't go a day without reading, the device also enables us to enjoy books from our favorite authors like Marie Corelli, um, Bertha M. Clay, John Grisham, and um, Nick Stone. You can now have your time with your author without necessarily having to hold a hard copy of the book or holding your heavy tablet or your phone in order to read. It's all projected to your palm or any surface. So you can still read in any other way that you want. Now, imagine you're on the street and you see Rihanna or Drake and you want to take a picture. You don't have time to now go through your bags and start looking for your phone. It's as easy as just saying capture and the device takes a picture of you and Rihanna. And when you're done taking this picture or the video you want to take, all you have to do is say send and the name of the recipient and it goes straight to whoever you want to send the picture or video to. It's as simple as that. Equilibria really is affordable, it's convenient and it's fast. Okay, so one thing to consider when conceptualizing this device is that it shouldn't just cater, it shouldn't just cater to the needs, it shouldn't just cater to the whims of, of people within the age group 16, 24, but it should also cater to a certain need. And we saw a pressing problem with obesity, so we thought no matter what we did, we should help keep the health and well-being of the individual. So what we wanted to do with our device was create a fitness companion for you, because, I mean... <clears throat> I, get, I did the whole summer rush when I realized that summer, summer's coming, that's the bikini body season. Ladies, if you know what I'm talking about, this will help you, I'm telling you. Yeah. Okay, Be how it helps us is it monitors our sleep patterns, um, it recommends an optimal exercise and meal regime after it's, you've manually inputted it into the device, and it actually at some point starts to re um, recommend and remind you that you have to um, get along with your fitness goals. It also charges by motion, which allows the user to move more. I mean, wouldn't you want to charge your phone by motion? I mean, Professor Granger, imagine you're chatting up some babe, right? And your phone tells you you have like 1% more. Wouldn't you start running? <laughs> it also tracks your calories gained and lost. It requires an input of your calorie, your ca number of calories taken, age, weight, and gender. It also calculates your calories burnt by recording the length of your workout and your elevated heart rate. Okay, let's talk a bit about money. The best things in life are free, but unfortunately, you can't have everything for free. Luckily for you, the next best thing is affordable. Only roughly $175, but it doesn't end there. We have to factor in rent, 
packaging, transport, advertising, and salaries. Stakeholders who believe in our product to be viable have committed to giving us, have committed to um, sponsoring us by giving us 50, by covering 50% of our initial cost. Parents with also with technologically inclined, um, techn technologically inclined companies have also agreed to give us component spare parts for the first few months as we start out. All of this roughly amounts up to 50% $50 more of the increase, $50, $50 more of the total cost, which makes it roughly $225. Okay, so when thinking about mop-up ads that come on YouTube or normal internet pages, so we need to find the most cost-efficient ways to get this to the people. So the first thing that came to mind is social networks. So we're going to have posts on social networks. We're going to upload videos on how the device works. We're going to have deals such as buy one, buy one equilibrium, get one free. And the one free re refers to the detachable which is the design. As you can see on my teammates, they have different brooches, different designs. These are detachable, and this appeals to people our age. And let's not forget, we also add in a stylus for people who would prefer to use a stylus to interact rather than their finger. Thank you. We will also take advantage of schools by having two-way collaborations with them. We will, sorry. We will run demos and the logos of the detachable heads can also come with the logos of the schools on them. Okay, so there's one thing we need to say before we leave this stage. We didn't come here to make a business proposal or to sell a product. We came here to share our belief in a common vision with I and my fellow colleagues. This presents a lifestyle change, but not just any lifestyle change, the lifestyle change. And We'll leave for one more closing remark. Remember, this is your laptop, your phone, and your tablet in one cute, sleek little brooch which you could carry around you anywhere you go. This is like revolutionary, literally. Thank you. Um, well, first of all, thank you very much for your presentation. You know, it was quite enjoyable to watch. Um, my first question is that. You know, this product seems a bit, um, it's very luminous. You know, if you're you know, projecting an image on your hand or on the screen, you know, there's a lot of light that is given. Um, it's not as, you know, conspicuous as reading a book or just, you know, being on your laptop or your tablet or something where you're not distracting too many people. How do you prevent it from being a distraction to others around you? It may be a great product for yourself, but, you know, how do you keep others from, you know, um, also doing their work productively? Um, okay, so your question is how exactly do we prevent what distraction of others? You mean what, like during a class? In this, in this case where, yes, yeah. you are, you know, you're projecting onto your hand, yeah. you know, other people will notice it, other people will emanate light all around you, and so aren't you being a distraction? If I were a professor, I don't think I'd be very happy to see that. Well, first of all, Okay, so, I mean, every class has its rules and regulations. So depending on the regulations in your class, there'll be, limit, there'll be limited things that you can do. So you wouldn't, first of all, with, let's take Ghana in consideration. In our school, we're not allowed to take devices. So if you can't use a device in your school in the first place, you shouldn't be allowed to use such a device. If your school permits the use of devices such as phones or tablets, this should be easily permittable. Because it's all projection of light. This, this could be an, as, an, as easy a distraction as our device. They all project light. Thank you. So you said, you know, you're, you're walking down the street, you see Rihanna or Drake, you can capture their image. What it means is people can essentially walk around capturing images of just about anything uh, with very little, um, you know, scrutiny, right? So you could, people could be walking around taking pictures of people's checkbooks, ATM cards, secret documents, and so on. Um, the second thing is the security of your own information. If you're beaming, you know, I don't know, your notes or your confidential letter or your confidential information on your hand or a wall, um, it seems like it exposes, you know, whoever is within your site. So what thoughts have you had about okay. the security of the product? The question was about invasion of privacy. Funny thing about that, we've actually considered the invasion of someone's privacy. So. 
First of all, in order to access its camera functions, as we said, it's voice automated. So you could say capture. And, and, and there's an LED light that flashes as you take a picture or as you record a video, there's a red light that's emitted from its camera sensor. These are things we've considered to put in as safety measures so there's no invasion of privacy. So a flash when you take a picture and a red light is emitted as you're recording videos. And your second question was about... Of your own information. Oh, your information. So, so first of all, you wouldn't exactly use your device that has your confidential material on people in the first place. And second of all, yes, yeah, so I as, I, I as an individual wouldn't open my iPad, which has all my bank details, my love letters from my girlfriend around people. So I would keep those things confidential in my room. So I would think, so you would experience the same problems with, an, with, an, with a tablet or phone. So these aren't problems brought about by the device, but by technology in general. So it's all about the individual and knowing where to use your device with regards to whatever information is on it. Did I answer the question? Yeah. I can pose a question to you. Would you use your phone in front of everyone here with your bank details? I don't know. Um, yeah, your bank details, would you? I think they got the message. Isn't Thank that you. There's another question. One more question. No. Um, I guess, sorry, just one more question on the practicability of this device. Yes. Um, this seems like a device that would be used by a lot of people with discretionary cash, so who have extra money lying around. Uh, for the everyday Ghanaian, um, do you think that this is something that they, one, could afford, and two, would actually use you know, in their daily lives? This is something that would be used maybe, I don't know, two to three hours every day. Okay. Not something that you would you know, want to pay for, and it would actually last you a really long time. Okay, so one thing, one function about the device, it has the capability of projecting your phone's interface, so you can access the files on your phone or tablet Via, via, the, via the equilibrium, via the equilibrium, and yes, and what's the other question? So, repeat the other question. Thank you. Thank you very much.